بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وصل اللہ علنبی الکریم نو نو سیٹ از ویکنٹ آل دو ویکنٹ سیٹس آر اکوپائڈ بائی اینجلس ناؤ Recently, I was asked a question by some media person. The question was about uh, that phenomenon which is known as return to religion. This title to this phenomena was given by an American magazine. You know, these times, it is a common scene that everywhere the religious places are crowded with devotees. مسجد اینڈ مندر اینڈ گرودوارا چرچ آل دوز ریلیجس پلیسز دین یو کین سی دوز پیپل ہو آر ریلیجسلی ڈریسڈ ایٹ ریلوے اسٹیشن اینڈ ایئرپورٹس everywhere. Then there are conference, religious conferences, religious seminars, religious institutions. So by seeing these phenomena, people have gathered that Religious is coming, religion is coming back. I said that no, I don't subscribe with this notion. Why? Because if you say that it is return of religious form, then it is okay. But religion, as, but religion per se is not returning. What is religion? There are two aspects of religion, form and spirit. Form is ex- its relative part, and spirit is its real part. So it is a fact that in terms of form, religion is coming back. But in terms of respect, it is not. Because if religion is returning, either its return is coming back in its true sense of the word, then we have to see everywhere a spiritual awakening. Religion in two concepts is the spiritualization of people. Simply, dress is not uh, religion. Basic purpose of religion is to spiritualize people. It means that to inculcate the spirit of love, tolerance, compassion, and peace, and all those human values, human spiritual values or, or ethical values. But it's absent. It is absent. There is no change in our society in those terms. 
ان دا ٹرم آف ہیومن ویلوز اور اور ایتھیکل ویلوز سو آئی وڈ لائک ٹو سے دیٹ دس از ناٹ ریٹرن ٹو ریلیجن بٹ ریٹرن ٹو ٹو دی فارم آف ریلیجن نو وائی دس ریٹرن اٹ از اے نیگیٹو ریٹرن rather than positive return. I would like to say that it is, it is negative return and not positive returns. Why? Because our age is age of tension, frustration, stress. During my childhood, there was no such tensions, no frust- such frustrations. Our modern age, our industrialization, or all these things have given a very sad kind of gift, that is tension, frustration, uncertainty, uncertainty, everywhere, in job, in business, everywhere. So people try to seek blessing or ashirwad. So they are crowded in religious places only to seek this kind of religion. That is ashirwad or blessing or barakat, baraka. So this kind of religion is only the negative aspect of religion, is not positive aspect of religion. I, according to my experience, I can say that religion begins from mind, not from tension or stress. Religion begins from mind. So mind is the starting point of religion. So if you want to religious revival in society, You have to begin from this point. You have to re-engineer the mind of people. You have to try to, to intellectual awakening. This is the starting point of religion. Present type of religion is not religion in true sense of the word. I, go, I will give an example. There are so many movements everywhere in the world, including India. But all these movements are based on right. Everyone talks about human rights, human rights. So they are making people right conscious. The whole society is now right conscious society. This is, this is, uh, this is anti, uh, it is completely anti-religion. Religion wants to make people duty conscious and not right conscious. Jesus Christ was a prophet. He was not son of God, but he was a prophet of God. So he has said, that you can find this saying in in New Testament that give to Caesar what is due to Caesar and give to God what is due to God. This is what I am saying duty conscious. The same The Prophet of Islam has also said like this, Addu ilayhim haqqahum wa salullaha haqqakum. Both sayings are one and the same. So this is the true spirit of religion. If there is, if there is religious revival, then we have 
وی مسٹ سی دوز پیپل ہو آر ڈیوٹی کانشیس بٹ وی سی ایوری ویئر پیپل دیٹ دے آر رائٹ کانشیس سو اٹ از ناٹ ریوائیول آف ریلیجن نو پیپل یعنی پیپل آر لیونگ ان دیئر مٹیریل their mind is um, business oriented mind job oriented mind their their sole concern is worldly gain there is no change in their taste in their speech in their behavior in their lifestyle no change at all simply they are going to places of worship for what for for seeking blessings or baraka or ashirwad. So we have to remove this fallacy, this misunderstanding. It is also a part of our mission. It is also a part of our mission. Because people falsely believe they are going to religion. So we have to make people know that this is, this is, this is fallacy, this mis- misunderstanding. You are living with your own, um, according to your interest. There is no change in your life, in your thinking, in your heart and mind. So It is not return to religion. It is, it is trying to, to, to seek blessings from religion for their worldly purposes. Their goal is the same. There is no change in the goal. Their, their goal of life is, is the same. Only they want to... to have religion for Ashirwad. So it is, our, it is also a part of our mission to, to, to remove this kind of misunderstanding. And inshallah we are doing this job, but we have to be more cautious and We have to add in our program this kind of, uh, this, this, uh, this point also. So this is my today's thought. Now you can add anything according to your, according to your mind. these which points out uh, to the time of today that there will be <clears throat> return of religion but only in the sense of the form and not in the uh, sense of the spirit yes very clear hadith very, very clear hadith that we that in the later period of history people will will go to Hajj, they will visit Masjid and all that, only for worldly purposes. I don't remember the exact wording, but there is a Hadith in this, uh, to this effect, exactly the, the same meaning. If you need, I can give you this hadith by consulting the book. Should Mumin in the hereafter desire uh, to see 
his creator that is god almighty or should he desire uh, to enter paradise and live there eternally there is a hadith that when people find entry into paradise they will be very happy very happy very happy then there is an announcement by angels that god will give you to a glimpse of his of his personality simply a glimpse so people any gather in some place to find that glimpse and they will feel that this is the greatest of happiness all those happiness all those many tasty things they have experienced in paradise and become very very little when they see the face of god and this kind of glimpses will remain forever because god is limitless so after any after some interval this experience will be given them this kind of divine experience and there no there will be no end this experience experience will continue up to up to the eternity and that that will be the most most pleasant moment for for the people of paradise mane during our visit to gujarat uh, you <coughs> gave a very important uh, formula to <coughs> to all of us which was that uh, in order to do effective dawa work we should do first talif and then uh, do dawa work and you mentioned about being part of the culture now uh, it will be better for everybody if you can explain that right now hmm i said that dawa is two point formula or two two tier formula first talif e qalb then dawa what is talif e qalb there is a verse in the quran taala wala kalamatin swaim bana banko kalama sawa means common ground so first of all we have to try to establish contact on common ground for example when prophet was given prophethood and he was given to the responsibility of dawa so he he arranged a arranged a in a arranged a lunch this lunch lunch was very very either lunch or dinner so very very simple only milk simply milk perhaps this milk was milk of camel nothing else so people were um, were hosted with a cup of milk so this was common ground everyone knows that milk is a good a lunch or dinner is very good so it is a common ground so first of all prophet established a rapo between dai and madhu through this kind of lunch or dinner then he then he in addressed them that god has appointed me as a prophet and i have this message to you so this this talif e qalb there is no there is no a specific form of this talif qalb at the time of hunain prophet gave some goats and sheep to those people who were mawlid fatul qulub but now 
آئی سیٹ ٹو مسٹر حضرت اف وی اف وی کم ہیئر ود گولڈ اینڈ شیپ تو دیول سر ایکسکیوز می دس کا نیو گٹ از ناٹ وانٹیڈ فاسٹ سو وی ہیو ٹو ڈسکور ایوری ٹائم واٹ از دا موسٹ اپروپریٹ آئٹم آف کالی فکل فار ایگزامپل وین آئی وزٹیڈ اسرائیل آئی آئی آلسو یعنی آئی اپلائڈ دس فارمولا بائی ریفرنگ اے ورس فرام دا قرآن دیٹ واز تالی فکل آئی سیٹ دیٹ پیلسٹائن از مینشن ان یور اسکرپچر ایز پرامز لین دا سیم فارمولا از گیون ان دا قرآن ایز اسائن لین سو پیلسٹائن از پرامز لین فار اسرائیل اکارڈنگ ٹو دا بائبل اینڈ اکارڈنگ ٹو دا قرآن اٹ از اسائن لین ٹو دا اسرائیل سو دس واز تالی فکل سو There is no hard and fast principle and no specific form. You have to, to discover what is the Kalamai Sawa or common ground between Daya and Madhu to any given situation. There may be hundred form of Kalamai Sawa or, or Atali Fakal. So after after winning their heart it is it is like, like winning their heart talifical means try to win their heart so when do you have won their heart then you can address them so this is a two point formula you, you if you have something you can explain more mana you uh, mentioned that in today's time like you said that we cannot give them goats or sheep or anything of that sort because people already have today money and uh, all the important things that they require for what is uh, important is or how you can do talif is by doing something which is part of their culture for example uh, in the case of gujarat when we visited the gurukul uh, when i said that they, they, it will not be uh, wrong if you do a proper namaskar to them because that is a part of uh, their, culture. their culture so even if uh, you know you can touch the feet as way of respect that is also uh, talif talifical really yes i i i i can say that all these things are part of talif akal when we do these things as a respect not as a shirk if someone does this as a shirk he believe that this guru is god and we are trying to seek his blessing as a god then it is shirk but we are uh, we do as a as a token of respect, then it is, is it right. I will give you an example. Let us take salam, assalamu alaikum. So previously in Arab, there was not assalamu alaikum. There was an anim sabahan, anim masaan. There is like saying, good morning, good evening. The, the Islam introduced assalamu alaikum. But at that time, there was Um, any, any raising hand, this kind of, no, only by, by the word of mouth. Then these Muslims, when, any, when they entered into Iran, so they, 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 they used to raise their hand when they say, Adab, Asalaamu Alaikum. So they uh, adopted this practice. although this was not in arabia so i would like to say to say that if in india people raised 
ٹو بوتھ بوتھ دا ہینڈ سو اٹ از رائٹ اٹ از اوکے اف ریزنگ ون ہینڈ واز ناٹ اگینسٹ اسلامک ٹیچنگ دین اٹ از ایبسرٹ ٹو سی دیٹ ریزنگ ٹو ہینڈ ول بی اگینسٹ اسلام سو آئی 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 کین سی دیٹ دس دس آلسو آئٹم آف تعلیف قل ابروگیٹڈ this teaching it is very you know, sad to know all the ulama perhaps there is no exception you can see the commentary of the Quran they say they cite one instance that happened at the, at the Caliph Khalafat of Umar but this is wrong if you know if you want i i can give you the detail but only citing a practice of umar khalif umar is not correct talif kalb is an eternal teaching no one has right to uh, to abrogate this teaching because when dawa is eternal then talif kalb is also eternal it is talif kalb is part of part of talif kalb is part of dawa unless you abrogate dawa how you can abrogate talif al so i i i can say that all these scholars are wrong when they say that talif al is abrogated ayat no not at all for this particular mazaar and they are responsible for this particular thing. And uh, today I received a phone call from this uh, girl and she asked me to come for her. And I said, uh, I very politely uh, told her that whenever I came, I actually did not come for that particular reason. I came just to meet you. And, uh, Uh, that because there are so many wrong practices which are involved there. And uh, uh, so she said, yeah, but we, we do not believe in this and this and this. So I, then I told her about you and she said, okay. I said, I'll give you some material to read and all that because the kind of practices which are going on. I said, business is apart because it's also a part of your business. But actually, so she said, okay, surely give me and uh, I'll also try to come and attend his classes. So uh, how should I handle it? What kind of material uh, should I give her? Because today I'm going to meet her. And especially I'm going for this purpose that uh, because her husband died when he was very young and her son when he was like five years or so, So, he used to sit on the gaddi and uh, now he's in college or started working and he's hardly any religious person but he performed all those things. According to, according to my study of Islam, I can say everything is lawful. What is unlawful, there is intention. If, if, if your intention is good, then everything is lawful. A lot of people say that our intention is not that, that we do this and we only believe in God, but a lot of wrong practices uh, are there. No, so I am say saying it that. Is your your, for, for you. Your for you. I'm not saying. For her. For them. For you. They yeah. are doing it. No, with I, I understand the way I go and uh, the, what is my intention. Her question is, what should she give to them? Uh, and how should I what, what, is, what is her, her point? Questioning. How, how should I do dawah to them, such people? 
and what literature should I give them so that they understand that whatever this is, this is wrong and, and we should not be doing all those things. No, no, this is not the starting point. Don't criticize for these practices. No, you have to avoid in the first instance. First of all, you have to say what is understandable to them. Don't start from this point. It's not correct. Prophet used to visit Kaaba. At that time, there were 360 idols. He never objected that why these idols are here. He only used to say, Ayyuhal Nas, Polu, La La Illa Tuflu. That's all. So, is it not correct approach that you begin from from any from criticism? So not criticism. Avoid, avoid. First of all, this is not the first. It's not the. It's not the. I mean, Dava is a continuous process. The first instance you have to do to have to something about Tawheed, about. and in human values, then in the, law, in, the, in, the, in the other stages, you can say that it is right or wrong. Mahana, there is a report in Times magazine about uh, Atanwad and Kasab. It says that uh, this is promoted by a uh, uh, hardliner group in Islam called Wahhabi. And they mentioned that the counterpart of that Wahhabi group in India and Pakistan is Devbat. So I want to know your opinion about it. This report has come on magazine Times. Not, not exactly the counterpart. See, Devbat is not exactly the counterpart, but there are some similarities. And what is Wahhabi? These are extremist people. Deobandi is not so extremist. And Deobandis are only <coughs> any less and enlightened. You can say they are less enlightened. But they are not extremist. But Wahhabi are extremist. They are, they are against anything. That recently, perhaps today, there was a, a, news, there was a news item in, in, the, in, the, in some magazine that in Makkah, there is a graveyard that is called Janatul Baqi. In Makkah, there is a graveyard, Janatul Baqi. So in this graveyard, there is a grave of Fatima also. And you know, Shia people have, have a special reverence to Fatima. So some Shia people you know, went to that graveyard and they became burning. So they were shot dead <laughs> in extremism. And if, and if they, they objected, but they, um, they, they uh, refused to follow their instructions, so they were shorted. So this is extremism. So I can say that Deobandi people are not uh, Wahhabi in this sense. Wahhabis are very, very extremist people. What is Wahhabi extremism? Wahhabi means followers of Abdul Wahhab Najdi. Followers of Abdul Wahhab Najdi. Abdul Wahhab Najdi was also extremist type of leader. He was a leader, but he was an extremist leader. Abdul Wahab Najdi. Abdul Wahab Najdi. Rami, you said about Wahhabis that they are, uh, they, get, uh, they, are, they are the militant groups. Or they, from where did they get the ideology to become uh, extremists or militants? No, it is not Bravely phenomena. Maybe some people from Bravely you can find among militants. They are also. Wahhabi. No, Wahhabi. 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 Wahhabi people are not militant people. They are extremist people. Extremist, yeah. Militant group is some, some that's another, another phenomena. 
جہادی پیپل جہادی پیپل بیکم ملٹنٹ پیپل ایز فار ایز وہاں بھی پیپل آر کنسرن دے آر ناٹ ملٹنٹ دے آر ایکسٹریمسٹ ملٹنٹ گروپس از انادر فرامنا لائک جے لشکر طیبہ جیش محمد دے آر ناٹ وہابیز دے آر مجاہدین ملٹنٹ مجاہدین کوڑے مارے گے اس کو تو وہاں پر یعنی یعنی یہ ایکسٹریمزم ہے آپ نربی سے کہیں کہ بھائی یہاں پر پرافٹ کے گرو کے پاس تم اگر دعا مانگتے ہو یہ ٹھیک نہیں ہے دیٹ از یعنی دیٹ از یعنی ٹرو 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 تبلیغ بھائی آپ کوڑے مارے تو دیٹ از ایکسٹریمزم سو بیسیکلی دے آر فالوئنگ دا سیم قرآن اینڈ حدیث دے آر ناٹ ڈیویٹیڈ فرام دی پاسٹ قرآن حدیث بٹ دے بی کیپ ایکسٹریمزم وی آر ناٹ ایکسٹریمسٹ وی وی ٹالریٹ دے آر ناٹ ریڈی ٹو ٹالریٹ بیسیکلی ان ٹالرنٹ پیپل آر کالڈ ایکسٹریمسٹ پیپل both the word are one and the same intolerance behavior and extremist behavior both are one and the same when at one time you had explaining uh, extremism you had given a hadith that do not do wulu can you explain that oh. that would be in, 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 you can find this in in, in quran and hadith both In the Quran, there is ayat, La taglu fi dinikum. There is ayat, Quranic verse, La taglu fi dinikum. It means, don't be extremist in your religion. Don't be extremist in your religion. Then there is hadith, Iyakum bal gulu wa fi din. The same meaning. Don't be extremist in religion. So, word, the, only, any, the Quranic wording is La taglu fi dinikum. And, uh, and, uh, and the word used in hadith is Iyaku wal gulu wa fi din. So, in Quran and hadith, both it is prohibited for Muslims to become extremist. Gulu means extremism. Gulu means extremism. جیسے میں ایک بار تو ایئرپورٹ پر تھا وہاں وہ جرمنی کا ایئرپورٹ کا نام ہے اس کا فرینک فرڈ ہیں فرینک فرڈ تو اخبار ایک انڈین تھے وہ آ گئے تو ان کے ہاتھ میں بوتل تھی تو میرے پاس پینے لگے تو میں کچھ غصہ نہیں ہوا میں کہا کس لیے پیتے ہیں اس میں کیا ہے کوئی آئے وہ تو بوتل لے کے مارتا ان کے سر پر دیٹ واز ایکسٹریم از اب جیسے اب میں ایگزامپل دیتا ہوں مکہ میں ایک بہت بڑی چیز تھی یعنی ایک بہت بڑا ہسٹوریکل مانومنٹ ویسے تو آج ہوتا تو ہم لوگ وہ حضرت حدیہ گھر جہاں رسول اللہ رہے جہاں رسول اللہ کے دن اور رات گزرے وہی کا وہی گھر مکہ میں تھا تو 
اب کچھ بیوقوف لوگ جا کر کے وہاں لے کے دعائیں کرنے تو آپ منع کرتے ان کو کہ دعا مت کرو دیکھ لو خالی ہم تو زیادہ دیکھتے اس کو تو یہ رسول اللہ یہاں رہے ہیں اس گھر میں تو کیسا عجیب لیکن وہ اس کو اس کو اس کو بلڈوزا چلا دیا دیٹ اٹ از ایکسٹریمزم بہت ایسی آگے صاحب اتنی بڑی چیز کہ یہ یہ کتنی بڑی بات ہے یورپ امریکہ میں دیکھیے آپ جانتے ہیں پرزرو کرتے ہیں پرزرو دیکھیں اسلام کے ٹرم میں وہ شعر تھا ایک شعر ایک ورڈ عربک میں وہ شعر تھا شعر مینس سمبل سمبل آف اٹ واز سمبلک ویلو اس میں تھی کہ پرافٹ یہاں رہے ہیں تو وہ کوئی سیکرٹ نہیں تھا دیر ڈفرینس بٹوین سیکرٹ اینڈ سمبل ہاں تو وہ سمبل تھا یعنی شعر تھا وہ کوئی سیکرٹ چیز نہیں تھی تو وہ لوگ جو بچارے سیدھے سادھے ہوتے ہیں لگے وہاں پہ جا کے چھو جیسے جو ہوتے ہیں جو ویلنگ وار پر چھوتے ہیں اس سے روتے ہیں وہ کرنے لگے کچھ مذہب تو آپ منع کیجیے اس کو یہ کیا اس کو بلڈوز کر دیں اتنی ہسٹوریکل چیز تھی دیکھیے اب جو ہے یہ بھی جان لیجیے دو پیریڈ ہے دو پیریڈ فرسٹ پیریڈ میں وہ چھائے ہوئے تھے وہ بھی سب بالکل چھائے ہوئے تھے ایٹ دیٹ ٹائم دیر آر نو انٹریکشن دیر نو سچ کمیونیکیشن وہ زمانہ ہے جب کہ ہوا ہوا ایویشن کا دور نہیں تھا تب تو وہی اونٹ پر چلتے تھے لوگ اس میں وہی چھائے ہوئے تھے وہاں بھی سب توڑ پھوڑ ڈالا اب اب نہیں توڑ سکتے وہ کیونکہ اب انٹریکشن ہوتا ہے اب لو آ رہے ہیں جا رہے ہیں دنیا بھر کو لو جا رہے ہیں تب اثر نہیں تھا آج اگر ہوتا نا تب توڑ نہیں سکتے تھے وہ اکارڈنگ ٹو مائی نالج دیر از نو بیسک ڈفرینس بٹوین دیوبندی اینڈ وہاں بھی ان ٹرم آف پرنسپلس ان ٹرم آف تھیری دیر از نو بیسک ڈفرینس بٹ دیوبندی از ناٹ اسٹریمسٹ آف دیٹ کائنڈ بٹ وہاں بھی دا اسٹریمسٹ دیز دا بیسک ڈفرینس از ہیئر 